Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Yeah, I got it all cleaned up. Got that corner cleaned out. Got a new spot over there for the A4 mold, see that? Just sit right there out the way, baby. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get some more stuff done. I gotta get this pile of ailerons and flaps glassed for the F-18 and the little Mustang there. Crazy, what do you got? Hey, what is that? You don't need to be chewing that. Uh, oh, you're a <laughs> But, uh, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Hey there, Navigator Bill. Sorry about that little episode yesterday. Real stressful day. Kind of stressed out a little bit. Oh, your buddy Bob is. Okay, I got these uh, leading edges on. And kind of what I want to do is I've been thinking about this. see these tips go on there and these tips are rounded but the way see this is the bottom see red mark red mark this is all the bottom but the way these are hinged then you've got them big fowler flap hinges I can just leave them square at the bottom and not have no dang gap you know, because they're supposed to roll, you know, with, I don't know, robot type hinges maybe. But he's got them uh, special solid flat hinges. And these go on there and they're rounded. I think I'd almost be better off. Leaving that like that and then filling this square. You walk around that bottom edge and have a big old gap down there, you know. If you look at the plane, uh, I could do the same thing there, see, on the bottom of the plane over there. It's just square it off. That back, you got to cut out anyway for this to recess back into it, you know, that little lip. <laughs> but I got to get these pretty much fit, you know, before I can glass them, so that's why I'm kind of thinking about it. But I think I'll just leave that square at the bottom and it'll be totally gapless and then just round the top because actually oh wait a minute I'm going to have to check them hinges out I might even go ahead and hinge one because I'm going to mold these they got to fit and they got to work dude. you know so I think that would be a good idea let's go ahead and hinge one to make sure it's all going to clear and if I can leave that square I want to right this right in the aileron, I think. I might put a strip of my fiberglass on there. And uh, just make that hinge like that. That or because actually on the real ones, the top had that flap that came down too. Okay, I'm going to call you later tonight, Kevin. you got to get this figured out. Okay, now, 
Um, I gotta put a piece of. Uh, I got me take. Think about. Oh, I gotta tell you guys the news. Might as well tell you. Sold the Tomcat. Yes, sir, I did. I kind of was in a spot. Kind of a stressful spot. Need to pay some taxes. Some personal property taxes. Oh, you know, serious. I was, uh, the Kansas, that's the bad thing about Kansas, believe it or not, they got a really, really high personal property tax. When it blows. And if you don't pay it, they'll take your house. <laughs> oh, bad. I mean, yeah. Costs four hundred a month to live here. <laughs> a personal property tax and insurance. Four hundred. No, almost four hundred a month. When you pay your personal property tax yearly, and I'm a year behind, and we got to pay it. Not one the cash. Believe me, I'd rather spend that five grand and lay up a B1 there and have a get a bill. There's nothing I'd rather do in the world. I just don't have an extra five grand to spend on the B1 right now. Shoot a roll of carbon fiber alone. Just a roll of carbon fiber is uh, $4,000. <laughs> and I'm going to need the whole roll. You know? By the time I do that big old frying pan thing in the back, uh, carbon fiber up there. Oh, the main spar has got to be a quarter inch of carbon fiber, 10 foot long, length of that wing. So I'm going to need a whole dang roll. And the roll of carbon fiber is 4,000 bucks, man. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of money. But if there's someone out there that wants in on this B1 pro project, uh, I'm taking partner in on it. We can hook up at the jet meet, take turns flying in. You buy the stuff and I'll build it. That's a fair deal. Yeah, about six, seven grand, probably. That's just building materials, ain't that? That's crazy. That's what it's gonna cost. See, I done spent that once, which was a waste. Three layers of 10 ounce. That's a joke now. That's a joke to me now. You know, oh my God. Just kind of how you cut the stuff. Don't put too much pressure and bend and break your knife and cut your fingers off. Fiberglass in it, and my corners would be just absolutely just just perfect. 
no wavy corner, you know, edge. I like doing that. I also got to cover all these ends. I'm going to get all that done today. And uh, I don't want to do that until I get these ends figured out. You know, I'll glue that on. And I'm going to go ahead and hinge this flap so I can uh, see what I got going on. I don't want to go no farther until I know it's right. Then I can glass it, prime it, mold that bad boy up. Because we, uh, we want these to fit. <laughs> it kind of be nice, too, if I cut this out, you know, to uh, fit that hinge. Uh, fill it, but leave it where you can see. Whoa, watch them big old feet. Watch it, leave it to where you can see where I had them holes cut. And that way they'd come out on the part. And you know exactly where to put the hinge. That's a good idea. Bam. Well, no navigator bill, man. I hope you're watching. I apologize for the little outburst. It was just a stressful day yesterday, but. I did end up selling the Tomcat, but I got some good news too. I took in a Bob Violet Bandit ready to fly in the trade. 250 mile an hour jet. Oh yeah. <laughs> With the turbine in it. And uh, he's going he's gonna to use that U ship and uh, ship it to me. And that takes like 10 days to get bids. But I'm fine with that because he's on the northwest coast, man. He's in like Washington State, along like 1,200 miles for me, from me. Way too far to drive and meet. So uh, he's gonna. We're gonna do the U ship. And don't remember. Don't forget. I got another Tomcat in there. So all this Tomcat ain't over with. <laughs> I love that Tomcat. But I had to pay them taxes, guys. I had to do it. And it's going to a good home. I kind of like this old boy. We've been talking and texting for about three days. And I think I, I think he's a Bob TV fan now. <laughs> but oh yeah, we got a Bob Violet Bandit coming. You're gonna see the hot rod Bob. <laughs> oh, and my daughter is bringing the baby over today, and we're going to take it over to see Dad. Dad hasn't seen it yet, but shoot, the only time I've seen it is in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You don't want to take the newborn out too much, especially when it was cold. Okay, bam. I'm going to get them got things glued up. Guys, and uh, our daughter's gonna be here in about 30 minutes. And uh, we're gonna run over dad's. I'll be back this afternoon, and uh, we'll get back to work. So, till then, we'll see you back in the